And although one can talk with individuals such as foreign ministers, say, and Ahmadinejad regime, one should under no circumstances be deluded into soft peddling things that need to be done in order to make that hypothetical negotiation succeed when the chances are as close to zero as things get in human uh, uh, endeavors. One thing we should no longer do, and in this I join the others on this panel, is keep the MEK listed as a terrorist organization. In 22 years of practicing law, I read a lot of uh, legal decisions, and uh, I recently read the circuit court's decision in the case involving the MEK versus the State Department. Uh, and I, my experience, and I think that of most lawyers who are interested in international matters, is that courts ordinarily give a great deal of deference to the executive branch with respect to the conduct of foreign policy. This uh, eloquently and well-written decision of last July by the D.C. Circuit effectively says quite bluntly, although it doesn't use this particular analogy, that what the Department of State has done is what the Red Queen does in Alice in Wonderland when she is asked if first we're going to have the trial and the verdict and then the execution she says oh no no execution first then trial <laughs> so we need to incorporate that move together with a vigorous effort to work with those who want a decent Iran outside the country and inside the country.